they were talking about the uh, uh, cell phone forensics. Uh, that day, I knew who who the next accuser was of uh, Wiener Gate. So I've never uh, heard anything. And by the way, too, and I know a lot more about Wiener Gate that's out in the public that I can't talk about. Okay, a lot of stuff that's not not nice stuff either. Okay. But you got to be responsible in your reporting. And, and there's procedures and there's protocols on how to handle these things in real life. Oh, boy, I, I'm so pissed off. Why am I so pissed off? But the thing is, she makes this claim that the, they found this video on <laughs> Anthony Weiner's. I've seen that video. It is so ridiculously fake. And, and I, it's just one of these things that's just sent out there to, to, dis, to discredit real victims and real crimes. You know, Jeffrey Epstein's guilty of real crimes. We don't have to make up stuff to make him seem worse than he is. And I, I believe, uh, you know, we, we see these, uh, these uh, donations he gave to this uh, MIT media research lab. I think what, why he wants a, a media research lab out there working for him is to create these giant fishtails. To, to make everything seem, or any accusation against him seem ridiculous. And others around him and other people with him. Because there's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, maybe I'll get to it at the end of this. Let me make a little note here. Okay. Oh, boy. But she makes this accusation that uh, Uma Abedin and Hillary Clinton were lesbian lovers. I don't know that to be a fact, okay? And maybe there's some rumors out there, but there's definitely not, no, nothing to... to Nothing enough to, to establish that as a fact. You're going to report that as a fact. And that this frazzle drip hoax video came from Wiener's laptop. That's another thing that's not a fact. And, and this video leaked from Epstein's basement on Little Saint. That, no, that's not a fact either. This is all nonsense. Hey, then, then when we're talking, she starts saying that... Uh, Trump, the, the reason why Trump is at the border stopping all these uh, these uh, immigrants from seeking asylum is because he's saving uh, little children from human trafficking. Well, I've had guests on this show that are actively involved down there with saving these asylum seekers. Uh, what's his name? Mark, Mark Lane, okay, who actually takes these people into his home, okay, and, and gets them to their families. He's reuniting them with their families here. And he reported to me little kids that are being raped. This isn't, isn't, isn't a, a rumor or a fiction. They have the documents. The detention center admits that this kid was raped there on the property. The kids that are being molested down there are being molested by these detention center people. And being separated from their parents. That's not abuse. It's separating kids from their families and losing them. That's Trump protecting children. That's nonsense. So there's that. Uh, then we covered these new allegations suddenly. Because if you listen to the, to the interview from 2015 and you hear what she's walking around saying now, it's two different, entirely different stories. And in that time, too, uh, she had disappeared for a while. She'd gone off the grid. Okay, totally disappeared. And I asked her about it. I says, what happened to you when you disappeared that time? And then when you returned, you wrote this lengthy report about how you were you were um, uh, transported to some remote location with some people that were victims, and you were there to counsel them, and then it turned out that there was a plot to kill you, and these people were there putting your life in jeopardy. I says, well, what happened with all that? She doesn't even remember the story. Then, you know, now, more recently, suddenly, you know, you can listen to the 2015 interview and what she goes around saying now. She's making these allegations against this Hollywood movie producer who's very famous and a Hollywood actor that's very famous, too, as well. Now, I've heard rumors about these two as well, but there's nothing uh, uh, solid enough to go out and, and just make accusations against people with no so with no victim, you know, with no case, no nothing. Hey. Then she says to me in the interview, and I have it in my notes, that she was a, a working as a soldier for the CIA at 16 years old. Now, this again, and this wasn't included in the 2015 interview, but she just says it to me last week. Uh, you, you forgot to tell me the first time <laughs> what happened, you know? All right. Now, 
So I, and let's just say I got a lot of problems. Okay. I, I do believe, you know, something happened to her. Okay. Uh, was it Anthony Kidman? Possibly. Okay. I could even say probably. Uh, but the rest of this stuff, I can, this things I'm personally involved in here that I know are inaccurate, that she said she was going to remove from the book, that she has it's still in there, you know? Now, this brings us, I'm going to be reporting on this Friday night a little bit more in depth because I spent uh, the day yesterday communicating with uh, Jody Williams, the, de- the madam uh, who was friends with the, the Palfrey and she knew Heidi Flies, and she knew Madam Alex. She was in with all. She, she knows Dennis Hoff and uh, Joe Comforti, who ran the Mustang Ranch. She knows all these people. She's you know, had a whole lifetime with them. I did an interview with her, and um, I was contacted by this woman Jessica Collins, who just did a YouTube video. Out there. It gets fifty thousand, hundred thousand hits over, and I claim I was a victim of Epstein. Well, me and uh, Jody were comparing notes yesterday, and now neither one of us believes she even knew Palfrey. She claims that she, she uh, worked for Palfrey, and uh, then Palfrey kidnapped her and abducted her, and that uh, she was sent to go visit hotels that were registered in different people's names, and that now, 10 years later, she recognizes Epstein, she recognizes Prince Andrew, she recognizes uh, John McCain, and even Joe Biden, okay? She recognizes all these people now from seeing them on TV from 10 years ago, okay, okay. That's a story. And she was abducted by Palfrey. Uh, had a long talk with Jody yesterday. Jessica doesn't even remember Palfrey's phone number or address or anything. She has nothing whatsoever to back up her story. But there's a, a rise of disinformation and discrediting and also, too, serious, guys, threats to real victims. There are real victims out there right now uh, that are seem to be getting swept up and cleaned up okay we have one of the accusers against kevin spacey turns up dead just hours ago before i'm I'm making this recording okay and uh joe conforti uh, the uh the pimp that ran the mustang ranch he's missing so there's a lot of stuff and i I even heard too from uh an attorney uh this week that many of these young girls who are coming forward in the Epstein case are now afraid to to continue and proceed with their litigation. Where back when, a year ago, everyone was getting paid. So, all right, guys. So that's my uh, personal experience with uh, uh, Fiona Barnett. I don't know. What do you think? Is there something I'm telling you here that uh, I don't know what I'm talking about? You know, I ask her, where does she find these sources? And put it, well, they're out there. These sources. So she's just regurgitating stuff she sees on the Internet. As far as I could tell. All right. So that's about all I got to tell you. <laughs> OK. Uh, you know, if she wants to come back on a show, we can retape again and we can go over these issues. Why this stuff about this fire in this basement is still up on there when I told her it's fake. I don't know what, what more you need. You know, who, where's she getting this from? <laughs> There's no one involved in that thing. No one involved in that case knows anything about this. And not even, too. I have I've had off-the-record BS sessions where we're just sitting around gossiping with these reporters from the Daily Mail, UK Mail, and this uh, Channel 4 BBC documentary that's coming out. We, we sit around, we talk off with, with the rumors. We go over rumors, you know, to see who can substantiate other people's rumors. None of this stuff is out there, man. It's all, what's, this this is, a, this is often fantasy world. And that's no good. Because it discredits everything else you've ever said, everything else you've ever done. 